on the heart and just like pulled it down. Like it just it was heavy. It felt like a weight was. Well, that's that's one thing that we weird. that we have in common. We're both people that are able to like discern. Yeah. It's just like so individual. Like we've. I remember um, we were some we were at some restaurant. It might have been when we went up to Abilene yeah. for homecoming for Nathaniel. Yeah. And somebody was walking around in the parking lot, and we both noticed him. We both, like, looked at each other, like, yo, yeah. this dude's crazy. This dude's weird. You yeah, know, right I think I, yeah. But we both have – and, like, Alex has told me, like, yo, you you have, a like, a spirit of discernment. Like, you yeah. can tell. It's also just right. like, And you have that, too. Yeah. I think it's also just, like, picking up on and just being, like – Being aware. Ready. Just, yeah. T- oh, too. T- <laughs> we went to the lake. That Don't guy. When we went to the lake. That guy walked in yes, our. That I yo. We both. We both bowed up. Yeah, man. Yeah, that was funny actually. We both bowed up. That was funny. He just yeah. kind of was like, oh. And no. He just walked out. He he grabbed what he needed and got out. But yeah, that's weird. No, it's dude. funny. I I think. But anyways, yeah. I mean, it's a weird. I mean, I've never like I said, I've never seen something physical like that. Yeah. But it'd be kind of interesting to see it. Yeah, dude. So, um, my thing, yo, know, like, and I've heard, like, weird noises. First of all, me and Alex watch Ghost Adventures just to, like, make fun of it. We, we're chills, not actually, bro. like, ble- yeah, chills, bro, bro, chills, dude. Bro, I got chills, dude. Chills, dude. Dude, chills, dude. No, nah, but we, wa- we watch it because it's just, like, cheesy TV. Yeah. It's not, we don't take it seriously, but, um, course i've heard i've heard like noises in my apartment and i don't think that they're like ghosts yeah you know it's like yo they're just noises actually i had a i had a pretty freaky time one time here no not here no at my at my uncle's house oh yeah have i told yeah you have like here on this or no but i want you to tell taylor's too okay because i've told that one on here before and that one's just rough mine is like so mine is um not, I mean, it's not that big, it, and it doesn't, it probably wouldn't even be that, like, you know, weird, I guess, to a lot of people, but, so I was, um, I woke up for some reason, like, I was sleeping at their house. At three in was, the morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the witch's hour. I think I woke up at four, no, um, but uh. I, I woke up, and, like, I'm laying in, um, I'm laying on their couch, and, like, the way their house there's this set of stairs and it leads up to like this big room, like a kind of like an extra like living space upstairs essentially. So their couch was like one of those, you know, it like fits into a corner kind of thing. The it's, L thing. Yeah. Like yeah. And so um, I'm laying, I'm laying on the couch and I'm kind of like facing, facing toward the steps, right? And so it's the steps and then there's a door and then like a door that. So steps into the living space, and then you kind of, if you wrapped around the steps to your left, there would be another door, right? And so in that door is another room. Um, and like a, it's, it's like an attic kind of space almost, but it was, it was used at one point as a bedroom for my cousin. So anyways, I'm sitting there, I have the TV on, um, and I'm just, I'm laying there, and I woke up, and then like, I'm trying to go back to sleep. But it was like, I don't know, I just couldn't, I was freaked out about something. And I couldn't, I just kept feeling like this weird feeling in the room. And it, no, it? no and it's it, just light like, belts off the floor. I was just kind of like feeling this whole weird, it just, I, something was not right, right? Yeah. So my cousins, they're all asleep. All of them are out. I know they're all asleep. I think at that point, I think I had to use the bathroom, but I was so just like, Something I mm. could not. I didn't know what it was. I couldn't yeah. see it. Like I said, I can't see it. Right. And so I, but I could feel that there was something like in the room, and I could tell kind of by those steps. So if you turn to the right, there was obviously like a whole hallway. And yeah. so, anyways, but if you there was this kind of like this little crevice that I can still remember looking at, and I can remember just feeling like it was right there, like just across the room from me. And I remember I'm laying there, and I'm kind of trying to go back to sleep. And at one point, I li- I'm alone. There's nobody else in the house, or there's people in the house, but nobody else awake. Yeah. I could hear, like, I think there were, like, fans going and stuff. But I could literally hear, like, like, Austin, like a whisper. Like, That's not, weird. like a low-key, like, almost like it was, like, in my, so, like, something communicating to me in my brain. Yeah. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, 
what? Like, I'm freaking out, right? And I'm, like, curled up in these blankets, like, get away from me, Satan, like, yeah. kind of thing, and I'm freaking out. Yeah. And so then I went to bed, and, I mean, I've heard, they told me stories of, like, they'll come into the house, and the, there's doors open, and, like, there's, it, it doors will randomly close, and, like, my uncle will kept, will keep making jokes. Like, even back before that, he would be like, oh, yeah, me and, me and the ghost, we're good friends. And I'm like, time out, what? Yeah, well, and so up. when I slept, I mean, I've heard of, like, my cousins would stay there to, like, you know, yeah. watch their house, and, like, they'd hear yeah. weird noises. I mean, it's kind of a freaky, it's kind of weird, but, yeah. yeah, I don't know, man. So, before you tell Taylor's, I want to lighten the mood. Okay. So when I, I don't know if I've said this on the podcast yet, I don't know. So anyway, when I turned like 13 or 12, I don't know how old I was, mm-hmm. I had, it was my birthday, and I was going to have people spend the night, yeah. and you didn't know my old house, but it was a pretty decently sized house. I mean, yeah. it was, it was two and a half stories, three stories, okay. but anyway, so my room and the master bedroom were on like the bottom floor. Right. And the house was built on a big slope, so that's why that's like the first floor. Right. But you walk in on the second floor, and like like the living room, the kitchen, okay. and everything. And then the third story has uh, two bedrooms, a bathroom, and a study. Okay, like that was my dad's office and his man cave, right. basically. So now the bedrooms upstairs, the top floor, they were. I mean, they were older. They were kind of creepy. There's some weird like. There was like a rocking chair in there because no, there were guest rooms. Nobody used them, right? Because uh, there was only my dad and me, so mm-hmm. he used his room and I used mine on right. the bottom floor. So really, nobody was ever upstairs. So I sold to my friends that like since nobody was ever up there, it was just kind of creepy. Yeah. So it was like it was the haunted the haunted floor. Right. So I sold that to my friends. So but we we had, I mean we planned this out. So right. there was probably like six or seven of us there. Now, three of us, I remember, it was me uh, and Hank Rooney for sure were in on this. And I think in, like another guy named David were in on this thing. And we were going to we were gonna have everybody like do an all-nighter and basically like do a paranormal investigation in my house that I grew up in. Um, no, nah, this is weird though. So <clears throat> anyway, so, um, so what we would do – it, long story short is we would all move as a pack and sort of like stop and like oh did you hear that oh my gosh yeah. and then we'd go to another part of the house and somebody would say that they saw something in like a cor- in a dark corner and people would freak out yeah now we're we're 13 14 years old right okay so we're not like old but we're not like you know children right i mean we're we're children but we're not like infants yeah so, but what we'd do is we'd walk around in a group and one person would lag behind and sneak off and move something somewhere else and then join back in the group. Yeah. Uh, and then when we would circle back around to see it, everyone would freak out. So, <clears throat> the plan was to go upstairs. Like, that was going to be the grand finale. It's probably like three in the morning now. Yeah. So, after we're doing this, Hank stays behind and he moves all of the kitchen chairs in front of the stairs in like a semicircle all oh, no. facing the stairs like so imagine the stairway right here imagine just chairs yeah, all in front chairs. so keep that in mind that's not like the big thing but keep that in mind so yeah. that's that happens while we're already upstairs and then Hank comes and joins us upstairs yeah and we're all looking through the hallway and all that looking through into the rooms into the study all the lights are off yeah and I even think there was like a thunderstorm too, which is oh, great. No. It's so good. And uh, we had an oak tree that was, uh, or a magnolia tree that was um, outside of a window upstairs. Right. And the sha- you know how like lightning and the shadows will bend and yeah. from the for, through the branches, and it looked really weird. And yeah. Anyway, so uh, we we go we go back downstairs after like 15 minutes. Now I stay behind. I stay upstairs, and now in one of the bedrooms, it was the bigger bedroom, there's the door, you walk into the door, and you see the bed, and then behind the bed is a rocking chair. Yeah. Okay, so I am laying, like, behind the bed, 
and I'm I can move the rocking chair to make it look like it's rocking without anybody in it. Yeah. Without anybody seeing me, I'm just like moving the leg, so I can hear them. So I'm I snuck away. They're yeah. walking downstairs, and this kid named Luke Blasick. I don't know if I'm allowed to say his name. Let's just say that's not his name. <laughs> This kid named Luke, uh, that's his, I mean, it's his real name, I already, whatever. Luke, if you're listening to this, I love you, pal. Uh, so this kid named Luke, man, he walks down and he sees this, and yo, he like starts crying. Really? Yeah, he starts crying. No! Uh, so then everybody run, like naturally runs back upstairs, and so they go into the bedroom that I'm in, and I can hear like him crying, and I'm like, oh my this is so perfect. So I start rocking the chair and bloody murder. My dad was asleep. I don't know why he didn't wake up and beat us all up. But he's screaming and he, he pees himself. Dude, I'm not kidding. He pees himself, bro. No. Yeah, on the third <laughs> so so after all this, man, I yo, and somebody was like, yo, he's peeing. We have carpet, and so I get out from under the bed, and I'm like, yo, 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 relax, relax, we're okay, it's just me, it's just me. That's we're messing so with you, dude, and he was so embarrassed, and then he man. Got mad at you. He yeah, he was, no, I didn't tell oh. him. But th- we kept doing it throughout the night, like, he still wasn't convinced that it was just me. That's so Even funny. after that. That's so we so kept funny. doing it, it was great. But go ahead and tell Taylor's story, now that I've so... <laughs> lightened the mood. I was a jerk as a kid, man. Yeah, I'm telling you what. So we uh, bad news. <laughs> yeah, bad news. <laughs> we um we go to this. We used to go to this, or I used to go to this church camp, and um so we'd go with our youth group, and um so you know I mean like you're kind of for certain parts of the day you're kind of just left to do whatever. Right. Um and so Taylor and a bunch of our friends had I don't even know I can't remember or a bunch of the kids from the youth group. I think they were around five or six by the time it was all said and done. Went up. We have this place called Prayer Mountain. And you go up to the top, and at the top there's a cross, and it's a really, it's like the last night. And everybody goes up there, and they, you know, we pray and whatever. So if you go past it, though, there's more, there's more stuff on this mountain. It's a hill. Yeah. Um. So they went past it and with, they saw with the Texas landscape. Yeah, cactus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, and so they get up to the top. They go past it and they go and they find this like area. And first of all, I think this was the first thing they found. They found like this. It was like a circle of rocks, and in the middle there was some weird like pattern. The whole thing was just kind of sketchy because it was just. It looked like there had been like a weird cult meeting. Yeah. And anyways, there's rocks around this like centerpiece it looked like a fire or something i don't know but anyway so they described it and they said it was kind of weird so they go past that and they keep walking and they end up finding they get to this spot and it's like there's a clearing but there's some bushes and then there's a clearing right and so they all kind of stop and then they look and they see this weird figure and it's like it's all white no face except for two eyes and the eyes are black um Everything else is white, though. And so they're all kind of looking at it like, what? And so they all they all kind of stop, and they're like, and they I think they all kind of like duck down to kind of avoid it, and they're looking at it, and they, did, they say, from what I can remember, I don't think it moved. And so one of our friends, he decides he's going to pull out his phone, so he pulls out his phone, and he like, he's going to take a picture. And from the time he goes to take his phone out and take the picture, the thing vanishes, right? So as the thing disappears, they hear, like, this weird, like, infant giggle or something, like, child laughter, right? And so hear that, and then it's just gone. And they're like, what the heck was that? So they don't know what it is. They're all kind of, like, freaked out at this point. So they all go back down the hill. Mm. Or they might have – I don't remember. I think they just – they were like, nope, we're leaving. So they went down the hill. They get back to camp, and um, it was just, like – they're all talking about it, right? And so we're trying to figure out what the heck it was. Like, is it a demon or is it, you know, whatever. And so they talked to our youth pastor about it. Anyways, he tried to help them out, try to walk them through whatever it could be, whatever. And so, I mean, like, that's that's one of the things. Apparently, one of the kids, he's a common denominator in this situation. This kid had 
a couple, like a year or two before that, 